the TEDx. The TEDx RVA is a community effort. Everybody welcome Pam to the stage. Almost a movement now that we've had in Richmond for the last four years. How we do this? Um, we we attained the license four years ago from TED, the community in New York, or TED, the organization. And it's the fourth year of TEDx RVA, and this year's theme, as you mentioned, is artful. And artful is this idea of a process and brought it to Richmond and started the experiment. Is an everyday person who hears your story. Who you knows that? The, the pace is great, the, the storyline is, and you have constructed an ideal TED Talk. And here we are four years later with um, four great successful events behind us and under our belt. So you say you expound a little bit more on your talks. Well. One of the things that's kind of forgotten is this idea that volunteers offer their time to help construct. If you can let them walk away going, we need to do this because they really create and, and, and make and mold the talks that are on the stage with the, with the speakers. And when you dive into the song, you can really hear the genius. TEDx uh, RVA uh, was really my introduction uh, to Richmond in a way. Dr. Abdullah, what a special guy. Um, and one of those that just, uh, you know, so glad that the Richmond community got to expose to such a fascinating guy so early in his time in the region. I've never been the same. All I can see. Even if there was supposed to be a left brain and right brain, though I know that theory has been debunked. That Getting Dr. Abdullah uh, prepared for a TED Talk was sort of a, uh, first a humbling experience. Two other things real quick that I want to go over at least one or two more times. Because I had to figure out how do you talk to somebody with so much power, um, so many accolades, and for somebody they don't know to come in and try to tell them per se what to do. I believe that there's an artificial line between STEM and the arts. My talk was on uh, uh, STEM, uh, innovation in STEM, specifically using the arts. The overall focus of the event is artful, right? So that's the theme is artful. Mm -hmm. And my talk is specifically on how I think that the fine arts, the performing arts, the liberal arts, how they pave such an important role in making sure that STEM professionals really become innovators, mm -hmm. right? With Dr. Abdullah, there was a lot of back and forth and suggestions of, are you going to use music? And we would love, since that was such uh, a part of what formed his creative. Nicola, that's sweet. How did it feel? Uh, you know, the rehearsal process was, uh, it was interesting, but it was also quite, uh, in some ways, nerve wracking. Give me a visual of that. You and I are in a bar stool. Tell me about your daughters and my daughters. What will they be as a result of that banishment of that invisible line? Um, if you can imagine, uh, uh, whenever you have an audience, there's a different kind of, of vibe and, and doing your rehearsal to a, to a bunch of chairs uh, and to uh, individuals who had heard it a few times. You know, it, it, was, it was good, it helped me round it out. Uh, but you really didn't have the energy. Trust the fact that it's in the document and people know. We yeah, really so discussed a lot of, should you sing? Can you, can you sing? It was, it was a fun moment. He um, was feeling it out. I was going to see if we could actually have a little moment of 1,500 people singing My Girl. What we did is we asked to see more of the person and less of the president. I mean, I wanted us so bad to do that, right? When you say, you if, if you, like, if, if like, you, if, I, I know, look at us, all of us are like, come on. Right, come he was on, getting, just, getting a feel in a, in, a, in a guy with that level of expertise and professionalism and aptitude and, and deft in his topic. Um, but you could just feel that he needed to be more of himself, which is a pretty full version of somebody. Here's the key, I'm, I'm gonna do it for you because I love you. Well, we love you. But that, that third note in that is actually a tough note. It is, we recognize it, just recognize it, that's all. I've got so much honey. The bees into me. Oh, that's yeah. I've got to Lay it out. Do what yeah. you feel what you would do to be yeah. the most best version of yourself on the stage. And humble me offering that little idea wasn't something like a guy like he needed, but it did prove to be a nice moment because it was getting him to be a closer version of the best version of himself. And um, and man, did he deliver on that uh, the day of. Last week my life had me near. It was beautiful and so sweet. I, I walked into the Carpenter Theater. First of all, the Carpenter Theater is beautiful. Nothing without you, baby. My whole world is incomplete. Cause, honey. It is, um, if you, if you don't know where one would do a TED or a TEDx talk, the Carpenter Theater looks like a place that one would do a TED talk. I mean, that's just uh, the kind of, kind of place that it is. 
the beauty of the Carpenter Center, it, it kind of, I, I could kind of stop at that. It, it's one of those places that you walk in and it takes your breath away. And, and when you talk about a space and a place for a very important set of conversations and talks on a stage, you can't get any better. 219, yeah. Hey, go ahead, see. We're, we're on time. There's something very special uh, about doing a TED Talk or doing a TEDx Talk. And uh, it was certainly um, a highlight of, of my of my career to have the opportunity to do it. And so I'm very thankful for everybody who, who kind of gathered around and helped provide the opportunity for me to provide the opportunity for Virginia State. Thank you. Well, a big thing for TEDx too. I mean, Virginia State University is a great university that needs more voice in Richmond and he's the person to do that. And so sometimes things just work. The Richmond community and his community come together and he's this good spokesman right in the middle. And you know, it's my goal to have him have as many coffees with as many Richmonders as possible to bridge that relationship even more. Yeah.